Welcome back. Imagine millions of users accessing a website at the same time. How does the system ensure everyone gets a smooth experience without overloading a single server? The answer is load balancers. In today's video, we will dive deep into load balancing, how it works, and why it's crucial for scalability, reliability, and performance in distributed systems. But first, what is load balancing a load balancer is a system component that efficiently distributes incoming traffic requests among multiple servers okay it has key responsibilities the first thing it distributes requests across multiple backend servers number two prevent a single server from being overwhelmed with requests number three improves response times and reliability and lastly, ensures high availability by redirecting traffic when a server fails. Okay, let's try to understand how it works. So, let's say that we have a client. And this client wants to go to YouTube, for example. Like, um, let's assume this client or this user sends a request to a website like opening YouTube. So a request is routed to a load balancer. Uh, and after that, a load balancer will determine which server is the best to, to handle the request because YouTube has a huge amount of users and it's a pretty scalable application. So it's not one server that handles the traffic. There are multiple servers. So we have server one. And maybe server two. And server three. Okay, um, but yeah, this is how um, load balancing works on high level. And again, um, when a user sends a request to a website to open a YouTube, for example, uh, the request is routed through a load balancer. And the load balancer will determine which server is the best to handle the request. And after that, let's assume that this one is the best one. The selected server will process the requests and send send it back to the load balancer and the load balancer will send the response back to the client okay but okay that's that's um that's it for uh, for for how it works right now we need to talk about the types of the load balancers we have um a layer four load balancer or a transport layer which uses TCP or UDP information to distribute traffic, works at the network level, forwarding requests based on IP addresses. Example of that, I guess AWS network load balancers work like that. We have um, layer seven load balancer or application layer works at the HTTP, HTTPS level and understands requests routes based on URLs, supports content-based routing, syndic image requests to one server and API requests to another. Example of that, it's like AWS application load balancer as well, and Nginx. And there is a hardware, what we call hardware load balancer, and as well we have software load balancer. So um, hardware load balancer detects applications like um, F5 or Critics ADC 
software based like it's an open source or cloud based solutions um, like engine x or aws elastic load balancers okay right now we need to talk about the algorithms that the load balancer is using There are four main things. There is the first one, round robin, which sends requests to each server uh, sequentially. Number two, there is least connections. It sends requests to the server with the fewest active connections. Number three, there is IP hashing, which routes requests based on the client's IP address. Number four, there is weighted load balancing, assigns different weights to servers based on their, cap um, their capacity. Okay, um, right now we need to answer the question of why the load balancers are pretty important and essential. The first thing, scalability, because distributes traffic as demand. Number two, reliability, because it prevents single point of failure. Three, performance, reduces, it, it basically reduces the, uh, reduces latency by directing users to optimal servers. Four, security, it protects against DDoS attacks and helps enforce security um, polit um, politics or policies. Um, and I guess, yeah, we, 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 it's, this would, this video was like um, a, f a high level on, 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 on load balancers. In the future, we'll talk maybe on, on or take deep in, in, in the world of load balancers. So yeah, we should wrap it up. wrap up i don't know if i did it right right or what so load balancers are the unsung heroes of modern web applications they help websites and apps handle millions of requests seamlessly um and yeah if you found this video helpful like subscribe and hit the notification bell so we'll never miss any video and see you in the future